Hey everybody, what's going on? I am currently um, headed to Marcon. I have the wonderful advantage of being in an area where I have coverage from my Miami Beach up to Palm Beach. And in between that area, lucky for me, I have three Marcon warehouses. So I can hit my Marcon Miami Beach, I can hit Marcon Pompano Beach, which is in the middle, or Mar Marcon West Palm Beach. All of them usually have what I need, and if I need it that day, I can get it. That goes back to distribution. You want to make sure you can locate your parts at all times and that you can get quick turnaround time. Now, because there's such a range of, uh, uh, excuse me, of appliances we service, there's no way you have everything on the truck. That goes back to your processes, the process of pre-diagnosing and then, you know, getting as much information as you can so that you can have either the product with you when you arrive because you feel that the customer is going to make the purchase and knock it out or some type of structure in place so you can, you know, make sure that you have great turnaround time. You'll hear a lot of the YouTubers talk about uh, one-stop completions and how that's always the goal, and it really is, because you're trying to stack those dollars. You know, you should have a minimum amount that you want to do on a daily basis. You also have to account for administration time of keeping your paperwork in order, because the last thing you want to do is bust your butt and not get paid, not keep up with the receipts, not keeping it up with your employees' payroll if you have employees or subcontractors' payments. You want to get a, be in a bad relationship with somebody, don't pay them and see what that look like. I'm telling you. So at the end of the day, as uh, business owners, you have to structure yourself and your business in a way that it will scale if you want to scale it. Because eventually, you have to get off the road. You know, you have to be able to dictate what the techs need, provide that support for them so they can excel and be extensions of you because that is the goal. Now, those of you who are YouTubers, you definitely want to have some digital employees. You want to have some courses, some books, you know, because people always want to talk to you and, and get to know you. And, you know, the reality is you're one person. And in order for you to focus, you really don't have time. You know, that's my biggest issue right now is that I do not have time. And I don't want to make a commitment to someone that I'm going to be there to support them when I am really in the process of supporting myself. I'm in the process of locating mentors for myself. You know, people think, Miss Ward, why do you need a mentor? Well, you got to realize, I mean, I'm not trying to be slumming the rest of my life, you know? that's a joke um, I really need guidance just like everybody else and I'm humble enough to take it from wherever it comes because the first thing I'm going to do is to look at the fruit of their labor if the labor reflects what they're saying then I'm with it if they on the okie doke then I'm like deuces but at the end of the day we all need to be surrounded by people and things that elevate us and the only way you can do that is to stay focused. So as I stated, I'm on my way to Marcon. I gotta um, grab a part for something I diagnosed this morning in Miami. I have to go back to Miami uh, for an inspection. Later on, in the meantime, I'll be in the beaches. I'll be in Palm Beach Gardens. Uh, I'll be off of PGA taking care of some minor repairs with big profit because that's how we keep the boat flowing. But while I've been out today, my food for thought today is really tweaking the structure. I cannot repeat this enough. Whatever hangups and hiccups you have throughout the day, you should be able to stick and move. You need to be able to adapt every moment, every second. You don't get frustrated. You just find a way to overcome that hurdle. You know, at the end of the day, it's really making you better, and you make sure you move that blockage out of the way so that as you move forward, you don't see that again. It's real simple. Whether it be a person, a place, or a thing, remove it and or find a way to work around it. But do not allow any obstruction 
to dictate your destiny. It just shows you how smart and gifted you are that you can work around those things and actually grow from those experiences. You know, a lot of my customers, um, I have to educate the process, the payment, the contract, and I take my time and do that because that is the customer I want. I want a customer that appreciates my service, that appreciates taking me taking the time to show them, educate them on what's going on with their appliance, why we're replacing this, and what maintenance they need to have in the future to get the max out of it. Not every customer is going to appreciate that, like today. I had a customer that had an issue with a Samsung freezer that's not cooling. And the first thing I asked her, I said, roughly how old is it? And how long have you been having a problem? So I advised her that, you know, Samsung has a pretty good or decent warranty and that she should call the 1-800 number that might save her some money and, you know, things of that nature. She didn't want to hear that. She, you know, just wants to come out and look at it, blah, blah, blah. You know, I believe in being transparent. I mean, she didn't realize I was trying to help her, so... I scheduled a time for my guy to come out because he has eight jobs a day on this side. And um, at 6 o'clock, she calls me back and says somebody else is coming. Now, I know that my guys are professional and well-trained. I also know that it's easy for her to be taken advantage of. But the reality is, do I really want that customer? If she has no patience and she doesn't understand that I'm trying to assist, because if it was me, I would have called the 1-800 number, gave them my serial model number, and see what Samsung was going to do to keep me as a viable customer. You know, there's some people you can't help because they walk around life with blinders on. They want to do stuff their way, and it usually costs them either in the form of time, effort, or money. So, it is what it is. You can't serve everybody. The um, last thing I want to discuss has to do with pacing yourself. You know, a lot of people think that I push myself relentlessly and I don't get any rest. And, you know, that's not really, I mean, it's true, but it's not really true. Like, I'm very clear about my body temperament, but also the foods I need to eat, when I need to work out. What, how much sleep I need to get so I can come out here and not be looking crazy. And you know, as you go through any process, you're going to learn those things about yourself and develop that uh, skill set to where you know exactly what you need and when you need it. And if that means time alone, take you some time alone. A lot of us don't spend enough time alone. You know, you need to sit with yourself sometime and, and have that conversation. If I love myself, would I do this? And I know y'all be like, have so much to say about my little comments. But while y'all chuckling at me, you better do it. Because as you get to know you, you know, and I'm, JT got, and them got me working on this cussing. Because you know I wanted to say a word, but I caught myself. You know what that mean? I'm getting a little better. But as you work on yourself, you're going to realize that everything you thought you needed, you don't. They were just fillers. And what you need is very simple. It has to do with celebrating you. So, like I always tell you guys, continue to work on you. Continue to love on yourself. Continue to develop your business, which is a reflection of you. Remember, they always say, whatever's going on in your outer world, is a reflection of your inner world. That's probably the truest thing I ever said. And whatever your belief system is, you got to remember you are a co-creator in that. So whatever's going on, you got something to do with it and only you can stop the madness. These are things I've had to learn. You know, I have such a strong personality. People are naturally intimidated by me. You know, but that's not my problem. At the same time, these guys, I love our phone. I just pulled up, and he had my stuff out. He just waved at me. I love the fact that, mm, I'm not going to say no, I must put their business out there. Let's just say I don't see the same restrictions. So, guys, I'm going to sign out and grab my part and stay on schedule. Shout out for Miss Ward, South Florida. Remember, work on being your best possible self. Talk to you later, people. Take a light.